So I'm going to do a mechanism which envelops a parabola. Um, it's going to be figure 224 uh, from my book. So that's um, a figure of which, um, uh, a mechanism uh, which creates a sequence of lines which, um, which are all tangent um, to the parabola. So my mechanism has got a couple of things. It's, uh, we're, we're going to be using a line which rotates through a specific point, which will stick at the origin. But we're also going to be using a second kind of fixed line, which is parallel to the y-axis. And so rather, I can use the distance constraint here uh, to specify both how far away from the y-axis that is and the fact that it is parallel to the y-axis. We're going to also have another line which uh, is going to drive the mechanism and we'll specify its angle uh, to be theta. Now this is straightforward mechanism through sliders it arranges to have a point where those two lines intersect and through the angle of the sliders it uh, forces um, uh, another line to uh, be perpendicular to that sloping line. And this is the line which envelops the mechanism and envelops the curve. Uh, so we can uh, use the locus tool, which if you select the line, it's not a locus, it's actually an envelope. Uh, we specify the parameter theta and there we see um, the curve, uh, which is created, which certainly looks like a parabola. If we um, open up our uh, symbolic window, we can ask for its equation. We can see, yeah, indeed, it's got a y squared and it's got an x. Um, we could um, work that out in terms so of x as a, uh, as a quadratic in y. And the mechanism has a second um, characteristic, a second line which it creates, which is perpendicular to the first and also tangential to the curve. So I'm now creating too many lines there. Let me just undo that last one. So here's another line. I'd like to con to make its location, make it parallel again to the y-axis and we'll give it a, um, a distance of b. And so now if I create the point where my line that envelops the parabola touches that vertical line, create a point there, and then create a perpendicular um, we can take a look and see what curve does that envelop yeah that looks like a somewhat different uh, parabola let's just check And so we say, yes, indeed, it looks like a parabola, but let's say it's somewhat different. Um, instead of multiplying uh, 4a times x, we have um, 4a minus 4b. Um, so if b were, um, you know, we've also got a minus sign there. Um, if B were in fact um, 2A, so if instead of B we said 2A, uh, we can see these look like the same curve. And if we type in the equation, the request equation, 
the second one, um, uh, we can observe they are in fact the same curve. Um, so this gives us a way of having two, a system of two parallel lines, perpendicular lines which envelop um, the parabola. Uh, 